think I had said right oh. about the time that me and G Money got together. And that kind of happened around the wedding that I told you I would to by myself. We decided to take that to the grave. And there's another thing that even Kai does not know. Dude, if somebody told you to smile and you said you were what, offended? Yeah. Why? Uh, why? Because it's like, why is it such a, a demand for, for women to, well, especially for black women to just always look a certain way? Like, why can't we just naturally be whatever we feel? You got so so I want to be I want to get this clear. Someone just says, "Hey, smile," and it's offensive to you. I mean, for the most part, it just comes across as like demanding, and I'm not saying demanding. that I feel yes. Huh? Like, what if I don't feel like smiling? What if I'm in deep thought? What if I'm what if I'm listening to something that's this is what this is what this is where, this is where we're at. This is where we're at. If God will really truly forgive anything, if he'll truly forgive you doing the most heinous acts you can possibly think of it, and you repeatedly do them and you won't learn your lesson and you'll do them over and over again, is that too far? Is that too much freedom? Let's just circle to forgiveness. Yeah. The prophet that you see as Jesus, do you know what he talks about forgiveness as? Peter asks him, How many times should you forgive a man? And he says, seven times seventy-seven. And then he also describes the way judgment day comes. And he goes, you will be measured by the measurement that you gave others. So the way you looked at your brothers and sisters, that man wronged you, but you said, oh, you're dead to me. That's how you'll be measured. Let me circle back. Repentance isn't doing the same sin over and over and enjoying it and asking for forgiveness. That's why God doesn't judge your actions, like I said. He judges the reflection of your heart. Yeah, you can't hide your heart from God. Absolutely. Forgive other people and repent before. Me and my girlfriend Jordan have been together for two years. But our friend Kai is trying to mess our relationship up. Jordan is a grown woman. So if she wants to hang out with me instead of him, that says a lot about her boyfriend. I don't want her hanging out with him. I'm tired of this guy. He got a funny smell to him. G Money is a jealous bum and he needs to mind his business. It happens a lot when I have close girlfriends uh -huh. and then they start getting like boyfriends or getting into relationships. They always get jealous. They always, uh, to me, it seems like it's an insecurity. Okay. You know, they always want to know, like, what are y'all doing? Call every hour on the hour. Lately, like, my friend, like, we've been friends for seven years. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So she met this guy during the pandemic, and I've just seen how it's changed her entire, like, personality. So why do you feel like he's not a good guy? Or he isn't good? No, you? first off, man, I don't, man, bro, I don't care if you, uh, if you say you like men or what. Bro, if a man got a that uh, I don't want to even say the word, but uh, penis in between his legs, bro, I do not trust him around my girl twenty four something. I don't care. You hear me? So he's thinking that this gay dude is sleeping with his girl. We're gonna see if that's true. You feel me? But sometimes our intuition, God's intuition, like we always talk about females' intuition, but hey, guys, we be having intuition too, and and they don't be wrong. Cause I know like, even like with Young Miami and, and, and the other dude relationship, when they be laying in the bed and her booty be all up on this, you can't tell me dude don't be getting no little rock, bro. Cause it's, it's his nature. You hear me? He probably clapped Miami already, you hear me? But I just don't trust, I don't do the gay best, male best friend type job, you feel me? But let's, let's keep it going. Yeah, like my friend, she's dope. You know what I'm okay. saying? Like she's always, like she's bubbly, life of the party. And ever since I feel like she's been talking to him, she's gotten very reserved. Got you it. know, she's very okay. covered up. You know, now she doesn't go out. It's always an excuse as to why she can't go out. Okay. Um, whenever, you know, we are all around each other, it's toxic. We're always arguing little, you know, petty little things are being said. But my producer told me you even got them a hotel room for them to do a little getaway. Is that true? No, I got 
us a hotel room. Oh, so you got her a hotel room so that she could get away from him? Yeah. And then you just said now that you went with her? Bro, that's out of line, bro. Why you getting her hotel? Bro, you a whole dude. Even though you say you gay, bro, you should not be buying no hotel room. So I bought a hotel room so we can have a getaway. What? Man, if I was doing it, I'd, be, I'd, I'd feel some type of way too. Tell me in the comments what, how would y'all feel? How y'all feel about the gay best friend thing? I just don't trust no man, bro. Like, cause I, I'm telling vagina just some good stuff. Like, gay men, I'm, gay men, bro, I think they, they'll dip in some vagina every now and then. You hear me? That's some good stuff right there, man. I don't be, tr <laughs> I don't be trusting dudes, man, at all. <laughs> That's just me, though, man. I mean, of course, you know, I'm gonna go see like what's going on, check out the suite. I have to be there to physically check you in because I it. work for a hotel. Got so, it. Yeah. So you, let me back up because you said with other friendships, yeah. you've had issues where the men have been jealous of you. Absolutely. Why do you think that is? I mean, you're an attractive uh, man, yeah. but like what else are you giving off? That you way? know how it is when, you know, you're good looking and like my sexuality is a or B or C or D, and they don't really know how to take that. You know what I'm Got saying? It. It's like, so you I, consider yourself fluid? I would say a little bit. What okay. that mean? My sexuality is A, B, C, or D. Mean you like girls? Like what? That, what? Hey, Y'all gotta tell me what that means. He said his sexuality is like A, B, C, and D. Meaning that I'm thinking he means that he gonna mess with. He'll mess with a female. He'll probably mess with a, a another dude. He just everywhere around. That's what I think that means. Um, talk to me about the altercation you had with G-Money. So, like, it's a few altercations that we have, and they're always, like, just petty things. Like, you saw in the in the video, right? Mm -hmm. um, he says something, I'll say something. Yeah. You know, I have a smart mouth. So, I was over her house, because he doesn't have a house. So, I was over her house. He was there, you know, I like Still to Still a little shady comments down <laughs> here. Uh -huh. I like to get my nails, you know, manicured. I like to be very manicured. I remember, she, you know, she complimenting me on my nails. Oh, where'd you get your nails done? Who did it? Da, 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 da. Oh, I see you got your nails done again. You should have just went all out, got the, like, the long tips or whatever, yeah. you know, whatever he said. So it's like, where's your house? Like, where? <laughs> look at your nails, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Versus commenting on my nails. So it just kind of starts, like, we throw little jabs at each other. But if this is your if this is your friend's man, why not just like I, I get, I'm not excusing his little jabs, but why not just walk away? Why not just let him have his jabs and say, you know what, y'all and y'all relationship, y'all do you. I don't want to lose my friendship. For a few reasons. Okay, uh, tell me. One, <laughs> like a, a straight man, like these days, like you're not just going to get away with talking. Okay. To me, I like that. I respect that. I respect that. Yeah. You know, I'm man. never saying to be disrespected. I never yeah. want that. But I'm just saying, like, why not just be the bigger person? And be like, you know what? I'm not even gonna deal with you. Why you had to come up with a little shady comment, though? Because I'm gonna try to be the bigger person. Me being a bigger person looks like me inviting you out. Me okay, saying, yeah, your boyfriend you. can come. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you think he's into your girl? Man, I know he's into my girl, man. Okay. I, I'm, I'm a guy, man. Let me be that first. I don't have no problem with homosexual at all. We can hang out, kick it, whatever. You feel me? Yeah, I want to say that too. I don't got no problem with homosexuals. There's a lot of homosexual people that I love. I genuinely, I'm talking about a dude with heels, but I still rock with them like they the bro. You feel me? I don't got no problem, but I, but I'm just stating the truth. I feel like if you a man, you like you want some, you you ain't man. You like vagina on a low a little bit. A little bit, you feel me? I be joking with one of the homosexual guy friends that I um I was around for a minute. I'm like, bro, I know you want some booty. You feel me? I be joking. <laughs> but yeah, it all, it's all love, man. I ain't got nothing against the uh, homosexual community, man, for sure. But when you looking at my girl with hunger in your eyes, like I know how a heterosexual male is. We turn around, you looking at her butt. Gay dudes ain't tripping off a girl butt. You feel me? What you looking at her butt for? You feel me? All the time. Every time you over, you looking at her so butt. It's like, Hold on. Every single time, every single time you come over, it's like you looking this at her type butt. Stuff, you you know want to linger on her hand and stuff. Like, like, that's because oh, he can't look at her. Like, bro, bro, I can't look at anybody's bro, butt. Don't get another because... girl, bro. Like, don't get another girlfriend. Like, what's wrong? Why are you around mine so much? Like, why are you always coming to our house? I'm around your girl because your girl comes around me talking about you. Oh my god. I mean, y'all friends. All the time. How much do they hang out from your point of view? Uh, they fell out for a, a couple weeks. They have, he has, ha thank God, he ain't been around. You feel me? Or like, been cool or whatever. But yeah, so the relationship has been better since. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. Because most of our arguments about him. Like, why well, she always with him? And then when she with him, like, she'll So be, I'm the problem. Bro, it seemed like it. it seemed so like where's, we, where's, we, where's your accountability you're gone, in you poofed in out anything. the way. There's no problems no more. Where's your accountability in any, in any, in the whole situation? 
Bro. I've been here for seven years. You just bro. popped up onto the scene. Seven years, You're the new kid on the block. It sounds like Jordan comes to Kai and tells him the problems. I'm pretty sure he's not the only friend she comes to talking her problems. I'll talk to my friends uh, about my issues, too. I don't talk to my friends about every little issue. But that's what you do with your so friends. So you and Jordan argue about this a lot. This is the I main mean, argument we have. have been in the past. We have, you yeah. feel me, but not no more because he's gone, you feel me? Or he has been gone, you feel me? Have you two ever yeah. broken up before? You and Jordan? I wouldn't say breaking up, but we've had times where we're just not talking. She tries you know to get I mean? away Hold from on, you. Hold on, he asked me the question. She tries she... to run away. Does she try to run away? Run as fast as she can uh, to get away bro, from you. I don't know what she's telling you. Things you say you. to her, you're always talking about how she looks, or you need to cover up, you need to wire your shorts so short. Like, like I said before, like oh. my friend, she's a very outgoing. When we go out, we're the life of the party. Everybody comes over, they buy us drinks, they, you know, want to party with us. And then ever since she's talking to you, she's, oh no, you know, oh I can't, or I'm on the phone, you know, call. Hello, yeah, she has a I'm boyfriend. Like, yeah, that's a fact, though. Like, yeah, right. When you get in a relationship, there is it is really not control. It's just respect. Like, if my if my wife come down here and her whole titties out, I'm like, babe, can you put on something else? That's just respect. But she would never do that. My wife would never do that. She she just knows she ain't finna dress. She just don't dress like that. But if she if I was to like, sometimes she would put on some stuff. I'm like, nah, baby, that ain't it. She understands, but all right, I got you. I'm finna go change. It's just respect. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't really control. When you're in a relationship, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing, vice versa. If I put on something, she'd be like, all right, baby, I don't like that. I'd be like, cool, is it? You feel me? I'm trying to stop saying you feel me all the time, but I'm sorry. That's just my phone. That's how I talk. But I see people in the comments be saying, bro, you say you feel me too much. But yeah, but uh, yeah, that's all I'm saying. It's a respect thing. When you get in a relationship, you have to, you know? But let's keep it going. That's not, but G Money, do you feel like you're controlling her in a bit? Because nah. that's what he's describing. It's not, it's it not controlling. Like controlling when you have a girlfriend, we have a girlfriend, it would be complimentary to act a certain way. Like, don't have your she has big breasts. Don't have your boobs all out. You feel me? When you're that's in public, fact. don't be having little skirts on. Like, you have a boyfriend. She act had like big breasts when you met her. Like, exactly. That, like, you was looking at exactly. her. Exactly. Telling the truth, though, man. You have, like, ain't nothing wrong with, with her. You feel me? Jordan, ain't nothing wrong with that. With him saying, babe, just put the cover up. Ain't no wrong with it. What are the things that you complain to him about? Because I already saw a little bit. I heard him say earlier, G Money said that he has started to control how you dress, even though you look nice now, that he's asked you to sort of dress a certain way. Yeah, I mean, I I can, I dress, <laughs> so I be dressing. I mean, as I grow as a woman, I mean, it's, it's out of respect for my man to just okay, have I a little, that. you yeah, know. As long as it's She said, you. out of respect. She said the word, out, out of respect. She said it, you feel me? points that's uh, you're, if you want to change your fashion if you want to be covered up that's fine but i what i was questioning and was scared about is because he would make it seem as if he was dictating it so it's your choice you're saying that you have changed your fashion g money can be a little direct at times okay so direct that's he what can be saying. direct right. at times so g money you came here because you wanted me to unlock both your girlfriend jordan and her best friend kai's phones mm -hmm. so let's get to unlocking these phones wait what uh -huh. <laughs> G Money, you want to know if Kai and Jordan have been communicating in with each other, but you refuse to unlock your phone, correct? Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And why do you refuse to unlock your phone? Because that's not my dude. Like, why am I unlocking my phone for you? I respect that. All right, for Jordan's phone, G Money, you want to know if Kai and Jordan have been communicating with each other. So. My unlocked phone investigator also, again, couldn't unlock anything because you refused to unlock your phone. You, you refused? So why did you refuse to unlock your phone? Honestly, bro, I ain't finna let nobody unlock my phone and <laughs> no talk show host, so I can understand that. But I let my wife go through my phone if she ever want to see it. She can go through it any time. But I ain't finna let no talk show, talk show host unlock my phone, bro. Yes, I refuse. You got something to hide? <clears throat> no, I don't have nothing to hide. But uh. at the same time, if I'm not gonna let you go through my phone, I'm not letting no one else go through my phone. That's my problem. I still have my dignity. I'm still my own person. I can say no. I can say I'm grown enough to say no. Well, I would hope so. Mm -hmm. I can say no. <laughs> and I can accept the no. Mm -hmm. But still, do y'all got something to tell Spell me? Spell no. In most cases, I would say, well, the lack of transparency here is gonna cause there to be issues. But in this case, because I'm tracking other things that could be unhealthy and I'm watching the body language, and I'm watching things, I think that this is actually a pretty healthy boundary for you to say no to. 
So in this instance, I actually respect your no of unlocking the phone because the only hesitation he's having is with you and your friend, your best friend, and that's it. So I think in other ways, there might be, hold on, we're getting a ping alert. What's going on, Who's man? this ping alert from? What's going on, man? So I got a ping alert from What's Jordan. A ping? Pings are where we get messages ping? that people, we get somebody to come and share something. What's going on, Jay Jordan? All right, so let's go ahead and watch this ping. That me and Kai had sex right oh. around the time that me and G Money got together. And that kind of happened around the wedding that I told you I went to by myself. We decided to take that to the grave. And there's another thing that even Kai does not know. Um, I was pregnant and I wasn't, and I'm not sure who the father was. It could be G Money or it could be Kai. I'm not sure. I just got an abortion and just kept a pushing. And I'm so sorry. Bro, the gay dude was clapping the cheeks, bro. And with no protection on. With no protection. She don't even know the baby hurt, bro. What I tell y'all? What I tell y'all in the beginning, man. What I tell y'all in the beginning, man. This man was smacking, and I only smacking, he was skating in it. He was skating in it, man. I'm telling you, you can't trust them gay best friend, but they gonna they be smacking your girl on the low. I'm not pregnant. She right said she now. got an abortion. Wait, what? Wow. She said she got an abortion because she didn't know which one of y'all wow. was. Wow. At this moment, right here, dude shouldn't even try to talk. Everything has been exposed to him. I would have got up calmly and walked out the building and that would have been it. There's nothing I need to hear, bro. Why ain't no argument need to happen on none of that. I would have got my ass up and left the building. Straight fact. Wow, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, I need to get back to the bay. For sure. Uh, bro, you're weird. Both y'all yeah. weird. What the I'm hell? Sorry. With this it's weirdo? Like you're hell is like, bro, 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 Why he still weird? talking? Hey. Bro, 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 Bruh, that's tragic, bruh. That's tragic. It just happened. Dude, it shit, like I said, why did why is he talking? Why he yelling? Just leave, bruh. Everything you saw, you needed to see. Leave, no talking, no getting angry, no nothing. It's not gonna make anything better. Every God exposed that to you. Leave, bro. Just leave, leave it alone. She letting a gay dude, ain't no telling how many dudes he been in have sex with her raw, bro. You feel me? That's all you need to know, bro. Leave, bro. We're on, we were on a cruise ship and we got lost at sea. And it happened. And I'm sorry, I did not tell you. It was a lot. And I think that's what really made me distant. Because I didn't know what to say or how to say it or do. Just weird. I don't know. So how do you feel about the fact that she could have been pregnant with your child and that she had an abortion? Tell me, though, bro. Why you ain't telling me, bro? Right. Why you ain't telling me, bro? Why you sitting here telling me all this, bro? It's weird, bro. Why did he come back out? He should have been gone already. Why are you there? Your girl, bro, leave. Why are you there, bro? Leave, man. All the way down here to the terminal. Why you ain't tell me? I don't want to know. Why you ain't tell me? We could have, we could have, we could have oh, been done with all this, bro. We're in the fuck, bro. I don't want to know. Are you weird too, bro? Professional, professional, professional. Are you in love with her? I'm not in love with my best friend. Would you want to be in a relationship with her? I don't actually like women like that. You know, it was just the. Uh, so you like them sexually, but not emotionally. We was intimate, really. Have y'all been more intimate than more than that? Huh? He said real intimate. It's coming out now. Bravo. You might as well say yes. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. How many times have y'all been intimate? Once, twice, twice, three times. It was four. really like twice. Bruh, it was he didn't clap twice. Nigga, I just bro. And that's probably not even true. He probably clapped more than that. Cause think about it, if you do it once, right? Then you do it twice. You don't think a third time gonna happen and the fourth time, and then it get to the point the way out just every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's wild, bro. 
This man is not gay. I told you. And then, and then it's, he got a taste of that coochie and was like, I don't know if I'm gay or not. Because I'm telling you, I don't care. Bro, dudes be like, bro, that coochie is something else. When you get in it, it's just different. And my boy got some of that coochie. You feel me? He was like, I might need to dip into that again. You feel me? You feel what I'm saying? That's why I'm, bro. Man, I am, I'm done talking. I'm sorry. Twice. It was twice. It was twice. Yeah. Okay. It was twice. I can't excuse G-Money's behavior, and we're going to get to that, because there's a lot of stuff that's going on. But at the end of the day, his concern was that you would be doing something. But he and didn't know. Weren't. He didn't know that. I, but that even makes it worse. He didn't know. So you were the, the trifling friend he was worried about. You would sleep with his girl. You didn't have to worry, because it wasn't like that. But it happened. It happened twice. twice. It happened twice, but it wasn't like a it wasn't like a like a continual thing. Like I'm not trying to pursue you. I understand, but his concern was, did you sleep with my girl? His concern should be, can I provide for my girl? Can I treat my girl better? Can I talk to my girl differently? No, listen, I That's said I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to be. that. But with you, the concern was, did you sleep with my girl? And you did. You slept with this girl twice. Okay. <laughs> like, it was twice. No, but you got to take accountability for that. You talk about My thing is, why he's so worried about what the other dude is not doing, but you having sex with his girl? You hear me? Like, you need to focus on what you're doing. Bro, you literally breaking up a whole relationship. You too worried about what he got going on. Don't worry about what he got going on. Just respect their relationship. Don't mess with his girl. You feel what I'm saying? But I, I feel like he, uh, this guy is out of line, man. He's out of line for having sex with a new girl or whatnot. But she's out of line. She, man, they both out of line, man. This is a lot of craziness. Accountability, we, accountability, we slept together two times. Jordan, do you have feelings for Kai? No, that's my, my best friend. Yeah. I, I, what happened was just something that happened. Kai is my best friend. He, I love him no matter what, because he has been in my life and will continue to be in my life because I want Kai in my life. Okay. But I do it. want, I don't know, about now. Well, the thing is that if I get, okay, because there's so many things going on here. First of all, I'm glad that you got off your chest because it needed to come off. But this entire thing needs to be exposed because from what I'm tracking, it sounds like you're very, in a very unhealthy relationship with G-Money. And I'm not sure why you're staying for these two years. Can you express to me why you're staying? Because from what I'm hearing, from his own words, he's an entrepreneur, he's not financially stable, he's been verbally abusive, he's been physically abusive. There have been so many things that have shown that he's clearly not someone of value in your life. You even said you're not growing in a healthy way. So why keep staying with him? I think because of- I wanna know how they just flipped the whole situation on now g Money's the bad guy. But neglecting the whole conversation of this guy just, they've been sleeping together. Her and her best friend. They neglect that whole conversation. Now, now it's okay, this guy right here is so terrible, G Money. I'm like, wait, they didn't even go come on the show for that. that that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Of that he gives me and the way he makes me feel as, as I'm important. Because I didn't have a father. Got it. When I was growing up. So I do need a strong man and him being direct and you but know. But you do understand a strong man doesn't have to come with someone who's going to be abusive, who's going to treat you a certain way. You can find a man who's strong, who's going to treat you right. I do understand that. Are you ready to end this relationship with G-Money? You have to. I don't know. I don't know how. She don't want to leave him. And how do they know that? Is he really phys physically abusive? Is he really, like, really hitting her? Because we're hearing this from the guy who was having sex with her. You know what I'm saying? He probably seen the argument and then told y'all a whole different narrative. But he's sleeping with her. You know, I, I don't I, I don't think G Money is actually hitting her. You know what I'm saying? She obviously still loves him. She don't want to leave him. He's just like, you have to leave him. I'm like... Why are you telling her he has she has to leave him? You know, we you really don't know the intricate details of their relationship besides from what the gay dude is telling him. That's what I'm saying. But I want to know how they just flipped it, the conversation back and, and making G Money put everything on G Money that he's just such such uh he's such a bad guy and neglecting the fact that they're having a relationship sexually, intimate relationship. Leaving, you know what I'm saying? Be strong. I, like, all you got to do is say no. Did Does he live with you? He does. He lives with you. Okay. 
So there's an issue of getting him out of your house. Yeah. I don't know him fully. He was right about his questions about you. So I'm gonna give him full, he was, he was. You were sleeping with his girl. I mean, like, that was before, like he didn't, you know, like. No, I don't know. You just, you're not gonna let me. You're not, gonna get, you're not gonna get me on your side with this. You're not gonna get me on your side with this. I mean, you two are consenting adults. His concern was, are oh, you sleeping with my girl? And you but did not, twice. I'm twice. Not. And what I'm saying is, his concerns were correct there, but outside of that, the behavior is wrong. So why saying, because there was a seven year friendship here, besides the sex. And you've both been clear that you don't want a romantic relationship. So we'll chalk it up to y'all in your 20s. Y'all had a little moment, you did whatever, but you need a safe haven to be able to get out of this relationship. And he doesn't seem like the person that's going to leave quietly. He doesn't seem like the person who's going to l l let go of you because he knows he's getting something from Very you. much not easily. Yeah, is there some way that we can, when, we, when you leave this stage, you can fly back and go to his place, would those be action steps that you could use to get out of this relationship? Because this un relationship is unhealthy. Well, hold on one second, though. Because, yeah. like, it's like before you invite somebody to your house, I don't want to be in a situation where it's like I'm listening to you do the same merry-go-round. Yeah. You know, like, I, that's, that's tiring. These moments are critical because you're saying that you want to leave and you're ready to be done with this relationship. And this is where now, true friendship and support comes in. Mm. It's one thing to be on the phone. And but I didn't hear her say she want to leave. Like, did she, did y'all hear that? I don't know if I probably missed it, but I didn't hear her say that. Not in this setting. She probably said that behind the scenes or something like that, or told the gay guy that, but she haven't said that in this episode. Or I'm like I said, I might be skipping something. I might be missing something. Y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think. Man. Gonna be like Being a caged bird. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll skip it. I'm gonna go back been clear that you don't want a romantic relationship. So we'll chalk it up to y'all in y'all 20s, y'all had a little moment, you did whatever, but you need a safe haven to be able to get out of this relationship. And he doesn't seem like the person that's going to leave quietly. He doesn't seem like the person who's going to l l let go of you because he knows he's getting something from Very you. much not easily. Yeah, is there some way that we can, when, we, when you leave this stage, you can fly back and go to his place, would those be action steps that you could use to get out of this relationship? Because this un relationship is unhealthy. Well, hold on one second, though. Because, yeah. like, it's like before you invite somebody to your house, I don't want to be in a situation where it's like I'm listening to you do the same merry-go-round. Yeah. You know, like, I, that's, that's tiring. These moments are critical because you're saying that you want to leave and you're ready to be done with this relationship. And this is where now, true friendship and support comes in. Mm. It's one thing to be on the phone, and there's one thing to be like, I'm hearing your problem, I'm exhausted by hearing your problems. Mm. But there's another thing when your friend is saying, I do want an escape plan. Do I you do want really to want to leave him though? Like, that's what I want to know. Yeah, I'm tired of being a caged bird. Good. Yeah. Yeah. He said it. So she's telling me she wants she to leave. leave. And at the end of the day, even if G Money did stay with her, mm. if he did stay with her, I'm still he tripping on how they flipped the whole conversation on G Money. I thought it can't, I thought the show was about him thinking that they sleeping together. But I guess they found that out. But now they just flipped the whole thing on, on G Money. Now G Money is the bad guy. That's messed up, bro. He going through it right now. <laughs> and they flip everything on him, bro. That's crazy. Only make your life a living hell from this point on. And so she, your friend is telling you. She needs support now. She's tired of being a caged bird, her own words. So this is where it says, I gotta show up for you. Yeah, like I got you. You already know I got you. So I'm here. I love you. <laughs> Bro, I am shocked. I'm so shocked that they just like forgot about the the boyfriend. They didn't care one not they did not give one care about what this guy's feeling. They did not care one, not even a little bit about how this guy's feeling right here. They put everything on him. That is crazy, bro. Like that is wild, bro. That's wild. The thing that he asked and said that you're doing, you did. And so y'all, we can't give you a pass to laugh this off because you were right. You, you were disrespected 100% by them lying to you and saying they weren't sleeping together. So your intuition was right. You knew what was going on. And I'm sad that you had to find out that way. You know what I mean? You came to unlock the phone, but she just confessed. What's going on in your mind? 
I don't know what to think right now, man. Wait, I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but dude just turned masculine as a mug, bro, because I, I don't know. I ain't finna put no work. I don't know if Kamaru, because Kamaru kind of feminine. I don't know if he's gay or straight, but I know he been turned way a lot masculine now. He like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wait, I'm, you feel me? That's how he was, you know what I'm saying? But when he was out there talking to them, he was kind of feminine. You know, I don't know if, I ain't finna know if he gay or not. I ain't saying that, but I'm saying he, he, didn't, he turned real masculine right there. I rock with dude. He he put good content on his show for sure. Duh, man. It's just yeah. a simple fact that damn with that guy, like that's crazy. Like could be anybody else, like I ain't like that. But damn with him though, like I've been. I get it. I understand. Shit. It's not like you want her to cheat, but the fact that it was with him mm. after you had said repeatedly, "Are y'all doing something?" There's something that's going on. They playing this little stray game. Like I don't, I don't understand that. Like it's weird. So, cool, she, so she said that she wants to end the relationship. Good, good. Like, for sure, she feel? already know what's up. Yeah, that's over with. Like, for real, that's over with. You know, has to some fake gay dude. Like, is he gay? Like, <laughs> He's a fake. Like, like, that's weird. Like, you've been playing this whole straight. Like, I'm, I'm cool. Cool, I ain't dipping in that pot. That's over with. That's you done with it? Yeah, it's over with. Like, God, please. She, she said that you two live that. together. So yeah, how nah, you? I'm gone. I'm about to pack my shit out of there we can figure all the rest out later you yeah. know what i mean i go somewhere asap so once we touch down i'm gone packing my stuff okay she gonna grab hers or whatever she can have the house whatever she don't care i'm gone like she can move in with him or he can, i don't care he can have her as much as he want now you feel me i don't know what this is you feel me but i don't want to be a part of it no more you I feel, feel me i'm done like here like i want to do that well, at the end of the day, at least you got your answers and you were validated knowing what yeah, you were feeling was like that a wrong. weight off my shoulders yeah. now, you feel me? I yeah. could, like, go forward in life, you feel me? Pick my best move, my next move will be my best move. Got it. You know? and well, I wish you the best of luck. Good. Sincerely, man. Thank Sorry you got to find out that. Good. Good. Yeah, seriously. Good. Good. Right, good luck, you. brother. Thank yeah, good real. luck, man. Seriously. If it wasn't for you, I'd never found out nothing. I'm you glad I can help you that way, man. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, Thank you, sure. brother. Take care now, brother. Yeah, but all right, man. Uh, that video was crazy. Tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. I just think I think it was wrong how they did Buddy just neglecting all his emotions and everything, bro, and put everything on him. But, hey, man, that is what it is. Tell me what y'all think in the comments, man. Hey, see you guys next video. I want to thank y'all again, bro. We about, we almost at 4,000 subs, man. It's a blessing we did that in less than four months, bro. Let's just keep this thing moving. Keep sharing. Keep going up, man. Hey, we wouldn't be here without y'all, man. So, thank you guys, bro, for real. See you guys next video. Let's keep it.